Hush, 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 hush! is brilliant at keeping our treehouse a pest-free zone. Claudius! Claudius! Oops! Speaking of pests... <laughs> what have you done with Claudius? Your monkey Moggy attacked us. Only because your mouldy mud chased him up there. Out of my way, I'm coming in. Into our treehouse? No way. Just you try and stop me. Man the defences, menaces! Intruders. Result! <laughs> As if we let Walter or anyone into our treehouse. <laughs> Best den in the history of Beano Town. Best den in the history of the world. Oh, cool. Can I come and see it? <gasps> no, sorry. <laughs> no, not possible. Menace's only zone. No can do. Um, did you just say no to me? Uh, yep. Don't worry, Angel Face. I've seen their den. It's rubbish. My new den is far cooler than theirs. Really? What new den? Ta da! Perfecto! You're a genius, Walter! An evil genius! <laughs> You're too kind. Took me all night to design these ownership papers for the treehouse. Nobody will know they're fake! <laughs> Except me. <gasps> no. Angel Face, hand over that document. What's in it for me? You want to get into Dennis's treehouse, don't you? Well, I can help you if you help me. What do you need? <laughs> D and G, track Walter's den with our secret weapon. Nash! One menace that dog sled? Ready to mush! Nasha, you know what to do. Nash! Nash! Something to show you. Huh? Boost, Nasha! Boost! Oh, 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 oh! Not in there, Dennis! Oh! No! Cool! Baby's got an underwater head! Chase all over town. Yep. <laughs> Fun, wasn't it? 
Oh, not really. Ow! Oh, oh, don't worry, Pie Face. Walter said once you'd finally caught up with me, I could take you to his new den. So, what are we waiting for? Of course, I'll have to blindfold you. Don't want to spoil the surprise. <laughs> oh, are we nearly there yet? I'm hungry. Oh, we're here, all right. Ah. What? Welcome to my treehouse. This treehouse belongs to us. No, this treehouse belongs to me. Go ask your dad. The treehouse does belong to Walter. <gasps> He came earlier and showed us the property deeds. The properly what? Ownership papers, usually kept in Mayor Scrimp's office. They say the tree and the treehouse belong to Walter's family. Walter owns the treehouse? That can't be right. I guess we'll need a new hideout. I know the perfect place. Pie face, sitting in your dad's old pie boxes in his pie shop is not the perfect place. Of course it is. Close to home, pies on tap. Perfect. Isn't that right, Paul? What do you mean, no? <laughs> lush, 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 lush. Yeah, at least someone's happy. We are menaces, and we are not letting Walter take our treehouse. We're taking it back. Nash, this is the treehouse. Walter's the pepper pot, me, Nasha, Curly, Pie Face. We sneak in, dodge our own traps, and take back what's <laughs> ours. <laughs> oh, tasty bun, Daddy. <laughs> We've been expecting you, Dennis. Bring it on. <laughs> Walter, look, I'll pop down to the town hall first thing in the morning and get you a copy. The town hall? No, well, I, um, I mean... You mean those papers of yours are fake? The treehouse never belonged to you, Walter. No, I mean, uh, no need. I've gone off this place. You can keep your stupid treehouse. <laughs> <laughs> The treehouse was way too easy to break into. We need an old mattress, a broken bicycle, and all the baked beans we can carry. In the morning, thank you. I've had enough excitement for one night. Walter, I'm coming in. Now! <laughs> old baked beans, Dennis! Woohoo! <laughs> It's good to be home. Ash! Ash! Headmaster. 
no, it wasn't me. <laughs> Detention! Sorry, but we just can't do this detention. Places to go, people to menace. Well, you should have thought of that earlier, shouldn't you, Dennis? Please, Mrs Creature. It'll clear in a few hours. I promise I'll make it up to you. You'll make it up to me by writing a thousand times I will not make stink bombs ever again! Oh, this is bad. Really bad. Oh, what's wrong, Dennis? We've done loads of detentions. Yeah, and it's not that long a sentence. Yeah, but Mayor Scrimp's unveiling his new statue at five o'clock. <laughs> 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 Time for some menacing genius. I have to be there. 3.30. <gasps> Better get a Code 1 menace alert to Nasha to help spring us. <gasps> a Code 1? <laughs> Trust me, it'll be worth it. What about the torturing teacher over there? This calls for a 40 wink blink think to get us out of the clink. And I know just the think. <laughs> I, I mean, thing. And the key for the ref is to make sure the last defender is in line. <laughs> Offside rule nap attack. Works every time. Real curly. Now, let's bust out of here, find Nasha, and leg it to the park. Another 40 ball. I must have a word with the manufacturers. OK. Plan C. <laughs> Aha! The confiscation cupboard. Should be one or two useful things of mine in there. <laughs> oh! 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 oh. <sighs> Phew! That was close. Ooh. Now, who's good at tying knots? No, 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 Dudley. You've got it all wrong. It was Marla's Seventh Symphony that was in E minor. What the? Uh, well, well, well. I wonder what the headmaster would say if he saw this. Let's find out, shall we? Real plan, Dennis. Just enough time to get a quick bite of pie. No can do. We've got to get to the park before five. Um, <clears throat> Dennis. Sir, this is just the kind of irresponsible behaviour I've come to expect from these rapscallions. What? You snitch, Walter! Uh, what he means is we were just checking that the emergency escape routes are working, you know, in case of an emergency. Yep, no, that all seems to be fine. Oh, please! You're not going to fall for that, are you, Headmaster? What? Oh, no, of course not. I wasn't born yesterday. Oh, of course you weren't. You're much, much, much older than that. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. It's better if I keep an eye on them from now on. I already know the offside rule. Are you sure, Headmaster? Yes, yes, don't worry. I've recruited a little extra help. To it, men. I want those prisoners contained. Whatever it takes. He's been listening to too many of the Colonel's war stories. Walter's not the only one we have to get past. No worries. Headmaster, have you met Paul the Potato? Oh, 
thinks you are feeling very sleepy. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I see what you're doing. Well, you won't catch me. I mean... Well done, Pie Face. You too, Paul. Right, you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, definitely. Brilliant tennis genius, yeah. No, sorry, no idea. It's finally time for Plan D. Cover me, men. I'm going in. They're coming! Stand by to repel! Fire for! Charge! Call that a water pistol. This is a water pistol. <laughs> OK, so they have the doors and the windows covered. But we haven't tried going down. I'm starving. By my calculations, we should be underneath the perimeter fence around about next Tuesday. Well, that's no good, Curly. Got to be there by five o'clock or we'll miss everything. <gasps> What's that noise? My stomach? Nope. I'd know that sound anywhere. <laughs> Brilliant, Nasha. I knew you'd get here. Eventually. <laughs> Nasser got in. <gasps> we can go out the same way. And that's plan D and G. We'll get to the park if we double quick crawl. Lead the way, Pie Face. Oh, sorry, Dennis. Must have been the pies at lunch. Oh, we'll have to make the tunnel a lot bigger. Nasher will sort it out. Yes, yes. <laughs> Fantastic! We'll be in the park in time. Ha! Keep it up, men. Those prisoners are slippery. Could pop up anywhere. <laughs> Free at last. Not on my watch. <laughs> Like I said, uh, I'm not the kind of fool to let myself be hypnotized. Ah, sorry, Dennis. It's half past four. I think it's game over. Game what? Over. Pfft, no way! We're Team Menace. We never give up. Evening, ladies. Good night, young man. All right, remember our guard's motto. Be prepared for anything. Those prisoners could make a break for it at any moment. What's Luce still doing here, boys? Detention finished half an hour ago. What? Uh, do tell Walter he can go. Poor boy will be guarding you all night otherwise. <laughs> what about Walter? Oh, we'll let him know eventually. <laughs> Come on! And it gives me great pleasure to have <laughs> my statue. I don't know much about art, Nasha, but I know what I like. Nash, Nash, na, na, Nash. Only a few more hours to go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, time to go to Plan L. Plan L? Leggings! <laughs>
frog. Fake puke, plastic or rubber? Plastic. Oh, yes! Go, Team Menace! <laughs> Three large pepperonis, please. Deep filled, extra everything. <laughs> Pizza's off. Huh? Walter? Where's good old Brenda? Oh, good old Brenda will be absent for a few days. As a consequence, the headmaster has afforded me the opportunity to elevate nutritional standards at our beloved school. Huh? Pizza's off. <laughs> Two bits of lettuce and a broad bean. I don't even like broad beans. Who does, Curly? Another pie crumb, anyone? Look at us. Scavenging in school bags for scraps. Ooh, breadstick. <laughs> oh, breadstick. Oh, pencil. Kids like us need real food. And if we got to make with some serious menacing to get it, that's an added bonus. So there I was, helping the family of hedgehogs across the autobahn. But with my nutritionally balanced menu, pupils will benefit from an immediate improvement. Do your worst, B. Along with a 9% reduction in their tendency to be irritating, smelly little oiks. Nine percent? You are clever, Walter. <laughs> Come, sir. Observe. <laughs> He threw up in my chef's hat, then he fired me. And goodness knows who will get to do tomorrow's school lunch. Hello, sir. My Auntie Beryl does catering. Nutritious, delicious dinners? Yeah, why not give her a call? Bye! Hello? Yes, this is Auntie Beryl's catering service. Let's go serve up some fun. Lovely! Who's for pizza? <laughs> We're running out of mash. <laughs> <laughs> sir, sir, those dinner ladies, they're imposters. It's Dennis. What? Don't be so silly, Walter. It's his Auntie Beryl. But, sir, look. <laughs> Ooh. 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 One of them is a dog. Oh, Walter. I'm so sorry, Mrs. Um... Nasha, Nasha, Nash? Ah, yes. Uh, Mrs. Um, Nasha, Nasha, Nash. Walter, lots of elderly ladies grow a few whiskers. Don't be so rude. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, seriously, I thought Walter's head was going to explode. <laughs> Hi, Auntie Beryl's catering here. Tomorrow's order is six bags of potatoes. Oh, gee, that ball. A family reunion. Forty packs of fish fingers. Fifty large pies. 150 very large. Make that 150 very large pies. And 227 sausages. Nash. Sorry, 228. Thank you. Hello. This is Auntie Beryl's catering again. I'd like to change tomorrow's lunch order. What? There's been a mistake! No mistake, doll. Two tons of ice cream in one unfeasibly giant scoop. Ta-da! 
<laughs> Excellent. Hello? Uh, uh, hello? Auntie Beryl, I've just had today's lunch order. Two tons of ice cream. Ice cream? No, 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 no ice cream here. Not a single scoop. I'm coming right over. What's all this about? <gasps> Half a ton of live lobsters? <laughs> My face. Diversion, if you please. Hello. Have you met Paul the potato? He's having his nap. <laughs> Get off me! <laughs> Dennis, please tell me we are not selling cans of raspberry rocket. Yes. Yes. Stuff's full of sugar. Kids go hyper. Good hyper or bad hyper? Disaster hyper. Um, everyone, whatever you do, do not under any circumstances drink this. <laughs> Get rid of this stuff. Okay, see ya. Really, I didn't order any of those things. Okay, I'm back. You get rid of it? Yeah. Where? Oh, I dumped it in that big bin with a picture of a lobster on it. Cool. Now, you what? Sorry to trouble you again, Auntie Beryl, but uh, the school food inspector has turned up. Uh, he wants to, um... What is it you want to do again? Inspect the school food, obviously. Everything is all right, isn't it? <laughs> yes! Everything's fine! <laughs> Curly, Nasha, you've got to delay this inspector guy! <laughs> OK. All we got to do is calm everyone down and get rid of an army of hyper lobsters. Can't be that hard. <laughs> Listen up, you lot! Everybody got to chill right now, or else. <laughs> well, she's not our usual dinner lady, but... Herbal tea. Brilliant, eh? Now... We just need to... Sorry. All gone. And then there's Mrs. Nasha, Nasha, Nash, lovely lady, but don't mention the beer. <laughs> Golly, hello, Mrs. Creature. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, plan D and G it is. Just change suck to blow. This ought to cool everyone down. Water? Disguise? Rubbish. Timing? Perfect. Walter! I can explain! Oh, no, no, I can't. <laughs> Two lettuce leaves and a broad bean. Next! Great to have you back, Brenda. Everything ready, Curly? All systems go, Dennis. History's in the menace making. Hear that, Paul? You're about to be the first potato on the moon. Ready for liftoff, Nasha? Three, two... <laughs> Potato! 
Little? The moon? What on earth were you thinking? An astro spud. I know. Genius. Oh, I'm going to be doing overtime on my overtime to pay this damages bill. Oh, perhaps you can help Paul write his best selling astro spud autobiography. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, Pie Face. The Spud Space Program's gonna have to wait. Right now, we need a fundraising scheme to help Dad pay the bill. Oh, what about a pie stand? Yeah, last time we had a pie stand, you ate all the pies. Oh, yeah. A dog grooming service? No chance. They'd all want to look like Nasher, and he's a one-off. <laughs> huh? What's he up to? Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> we'll have a car wash. Look. Walter can pull in two cars with a five-star car wash, so if we have 5,000 stars, we'll pull in... Uh, <laughs> two million cars! Are there two million cars in Beano Town? <laughs> <laughs> no time for counting, Curly! We've a menace car wash to set up! And 5,000. <laughs> Don't worry, Dennis. We'll just wait for the next dirty car. Ah, oh, there must be more than two dirty cars in Beano Town. <laughs> oh, it's just hit me. If you want to mess up cars, you can't beat a bird. That's right. Birds are born to mess up cars. Oh, so we catch and train 5,000 birds. Or, faster, we just menace one up. Feathers away, Nasher. Nash, Nash. <laughs> it's like I'm watching a nature program. This pie face is the Menace 2000 Car Messer Up a Bird Bot. Oh, catchy. All we need now is ammo. <laughs> Two buckets of mud, one bucket of cold baked beans, <laughs> another bucket of mud, one bucket of sour cream, past best before date, <laughs> another bucket of mud, 16 jars of horseradish <laughs> in a bucket, two buckets of soggy porridge, 3,800 ml raspberry rocket drink, and mix thoroughly. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's see how Curly's getting on with the GPS. I've hooked up a GPS so it now has the ability of satellite guidance. And finalised the upgrade with state-of-the-art target recognition software. You're good to go, Dennis. Curly, time to rustle up some business. Oh, no. Right. They think we'll make their cars dirtier. Ah, uh, technically we have made their cars dirtier. Yes, but Walter's getting all the business. We earned that business, and we're gonna get it back. First class job, team. <laughs> I think you'll find this vehicle still dirty. <laughs> Who's up for Beano Town's fastest car wash? <laughs> <laughs> Lower fee and poop free. Uh -huh. uh, there. Oh no. <laughs> Thank you very much. There, Kelo. Thanks, Sergeant. Next. <laughs> I'll be recommended. 
benzin your car wash to all of our friends. <laughs> Mayor Scrimp has friends. Mm-hmm. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> right, my avian adversary. This means war. Uh oh. Porridge, baked beans, and is that raspberry rocket drink? Either the local birds have radically altered their diet, or I smell a Dennis scam. Colonel, stop! That's a rare endangered wooden beaked warbler. Uh, who? Uh, who? <gasps> wooden beaked warbler? Over 60 years as Beano Town's number one bird watcher, and I've never heard of it. It must be rare. Pardon me, Colonel, but I do hope you're planning to take that menace right out of the sky. Don't be so absurd. Of course not. That's a wooden beaked warbler, don't you know? A what? Exactly. I hadn't seen one before either. It's incredibly rare. Oh, no, I can't shoot it down. It could well be the last of its kind. Mm hmm. I have to capture it. Ah! Uh, say, my boy, how would you like to be part of the ornithological coup of the century? Get it? Coup? No, it's a bird thing. Charlie, give me the controller. We're about to be rumbled. Uh, here. If my calculations are correct, this net will fly out, open up mid-flight, and capture the bird. Fire in the hole! Oh, my calculations may have been a bit off. Oh, dear. I hope it wasn't the last of its kind. Uh-oh. What do you mean, uh-oh? The target recognition system just went bonkers. It now thinks people are targets. Uh-oh! Uh -oh. I will turn it off. Off? Dennis, when you asked for a swoop and poop with rapid fire, you didn't ask for an off button. Crash, oh. crash. <laughs> okay, everybody, try to look like a car. <laughs> what is going on, Dennis? <laughs> Can't talk. Oh, but this should cover the Astro Spud bill. Yeah. Ah, and the dry cleaning. <laughs> Walter, act like a vehicle. Don't be ridiculous. I am not going to act like a vehicle. This nonsense ends now. <laughs> oh, no. Are you sure about this pie face? It's the only way, Dennis. I'll be waiting for you, Paul. Potato in the hole! <laughs> Him. Him. Private Potato. For bravery under fire, being fired, and being on fire. Him. And Dennis for your contribution to the preservation of an endangered species. You mean the wooden beak warbler? No, I mean Walter. Mm. Huh. Now, can somebody get my vehicle clean? No! <laughs> Nice 
Asher's brilliant at keeping our treehouse a pest-free zone. Claudius! Claudius! Oops! Speaking of pests... <coughs> what have you done with Claudius? Your monkey Moggy attacked us. Only because your mouldy mud chased him up there. Out of my way, I'm coming in. Into our treehouse? No way. Just you try and stop me. Man the defences, menaces! from intruders. Result! <laughs> As if we let Walter or anyone into our treehouse. <laughs> Best den in the history of Beano Town. Best den in the history of the world. <gasps> cool. Can I come and see it? <gasps> no, sorry. <laughs> no, not possible. Menace is only zone. No can do. Um, did you just say no to me? Uh, yep. Don't worry, Angel Face. I've seen their den. It's rubbish. My new den is far cooler than theirs. Really? What new den? Ta da! Perfecto! You're a genius, Walter! An evil genius! <laughs> You're too kind. Took me all night to design these ownership papers for the treehouse. Nobody will know they're fake. <laughs> Nobody. Except me. <gasps> Angel Face, hand over that document. What's in it for me? You want to get into Dennis's treehouse, don't you? Well, I can help you if you help me. What do you need? <laughs> D and G, track Walter's den with our secret weapon. Nash! One menace that dog sled? Ready to mush! Nasha, you know what to do. Nash! Nash! Once you'd finally caught up with me, I could take you to his new den. So, what are we waiting for? Of course, I'll have to blindfold you. Don't want to spoil the surprise. <laughs> oh, are we nearly there yet? I'm hungry. Oh, we're here, all right. Ah. What? Welcome. 
Welcome to my treehouse. This treehouse belongs to Oz. No, this treehouse belongs to me. Go ask your dad. The treehouse does belong to Walter. <gasps> He came earlier and showed us the property deeds. The properly what? Ownership papers, usually kept in Mayor Scrimp's office. They say the tree and the treehouse belong to Walter's family. Walter owns the treehouse? That can't be right. I guess we'll need a new hideout. I know the perfect place. Pie face, sitting in your dad's old pie boxes in his pie shop is not the perfect place. Of course it is. Close to home pies on tap. Perfect. Isn't that right, Paul? What do you mean, no? <laughs> lush, 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 lush. Uh, at least someone's happy. We are menaces, and we are not letting Walter take our treehouse. We're taking it back. Nash, this is the treehouse. Walter's the pepper pot, me, Nasha, Curly, Pie Face. We sneak in, dodge our own traps, and take back what's ours. <laughs> oh, tasty bomb, Daddy. <laughs> We've been expecting you, Dennis. Bring it on. Walter, look, I'll pop down to the town hall first thing in the morning and get you a copy. The town hall? No, well, I, um, I mean... You mean those papers of yours are fake? The treehouse never belonged to you, Walter. No, I mean, uh, no need. I've gone off this place. You can keep your stupid treehouse. <laughs> <laughs> The tree house was way too easy to break into. We need an old mattress, a broken bicycle, and all the baked beans we can carry. In the morning, thank you. I've had enough excitement for one night. Walter, I'm coming in. Now! <laughs> old baked beans, Dennis! Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> It's good to be home. Ash! Ash! <laughs> <laughs> 